I took delivery of some foam pads, self-adhesive ones, to hopefully fix these cartridges for the QL. Now, as shown before, the cartridges tend to wear out a lot. So what I've got to do now is figure out a nice way, a reliable way, of cleaning the residue off that little spring uh, there inside and uh, putting that in there. So is that too big? It looks like to be double the width. So I, I probably only need half the width of that and not very much besides. So if I chop, chop that off, that pad there, it might actually even be too big, but it's probably okay. If I cut that in half, it's a bit squarer than I'd, I would have liked. Maybe I can just trim it a bit. That's probably the size I need. Now, the question is how I'm gonna get that put in. I was hope, I'm hoping that I don't have to uh, get draconian and actually take it to pieces. I really don't want to do that. Let's see if I can find some appropriate tools. Of course, this is magnetic material, so I don't know. Chances are these are all knackered anyway, so it might not be too bad. Now these, these I think just clip together, but I am going to try I don't know whether there's any play in this. Let me just grab this a minute. Yeah, so there's a bit of play in there, which is which is good. I wonder whether I can use a sharp scalpel or knife to scrape that off. Oops. see what we can see with a scalpel maybe we can scrape some of that crap off oh, it just flakes right off oh and it's come off yeah that that pad has come off that's actually quite good that's what I want I want to maintain that bit there and it's probably good enough so I'll make sure that there's no detritus I think some of this stuff has gone inside the case uh, and me messing around didn't help but hey so now we're gonna grab that ah Okay, so that's there. A little bit of stick on that. Okay, well, uh, I don't know, it looks better. This is a really bad design from, from um, uh, Sinclair. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's it's a it's a bad design. It's a bad design. It's a bad design. Who am I trying to kid? It's just that it could have been great with a little bit of extra engineering, extra thought. It could have been absolutely cracking. Because these are what was it, 100k or something? It's brilliant for a machine like this. Fantastic. But it wasn't quite there. Bit of a shame. Right, I'm going to put the put the monitor on. Uh, go to AV. Put the power on. Uh, okay. Oh, I 
tell you, don't say my QL's broken as well. Ah, it's got the, the load up sequence thing. Why is that not coming up? I haven't plugged it in. Maybe. Oh, I've got it on. Oh, I've got it on SCARP. <laughs> I was thinking it wasn't working. Right, so let's move over to the monitor. The thing I've got to do is to get a is to make a cable. Right. Whoa, that bit works. I think this one got this far before, though. To be fair, it does seem to be doing more than before. I have no massive confidence any of these cartridges will work. I mean, I slag it off, but I love the form factor. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Love it. They could have made it better. Um, not quite sure how. Maybe some kind of tension wheel inside the the unit. I'm not sure. It's just a bit. You need that in order to uh, push the tape towards the head, so it can be read and, and written to. Um, but yeah, Andrew K. I think. I'm not sure what the board rate is. I think it's pretty good. At line eight, bad or change medium. Okay, well that didn't work very well. Channel one. Well, okay, it got further than before. Maybe what I've got to do actually now is um, is format that because I'm not sure whether these are going to be any good anyway. But I definitely got further than before. So what I'm going to do is. Got a bit of a task ahead of me. So I've got all these, I've got another eight of these things knocking about. So I'm gonna uh, refurbish all of those and hopefully, hopefully one or two of them will actually work. Anyway, I'll do that and I'll let you know. Uh, one last thing, what I am gonna do is take the ones that I've kind of repaired-ish and put a, put a little green sticker on the bottom of the cartridge so I know that the, that's one that I've actually uh, in quotes, repaired. Um, otherwise, things quickly get out of sync. And I'm going to put it on there, not on the actual, on that, because it's just going to get completely out of sync. Anyway, yeah, wish me luck. I've got one here which says uh, bad or changed medium. So I think what I'm going to do is run the format command and see what happens. Uh, actually, maybe I'll do a DIR first. DIR MDV one underscore. No, that's weird. Ah, uh, no, that's no good. That's actually come out. Oh, yeah, I think this 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 particular tape, this cartridge is actually broken. The uh, mounting thing has come out. Hmm. It could have been catastrophic. Okay, that's going to get a red circle. Because that's no good. A red sticker of badness. Another one, another quill. So it has to uh, fast forward, rewind, it has to get to the to the tape leader because it's a continuous loop. So it can take a little while to do the initial load to you know to find the start of the thing. Always a dodgy tape. <laughs> Okay, we've well found a start. Let's see if it will load this one. The other one took a little while before it failed. But I really don't know what the load times are like on these. So I do have more things to do. I've got 
some adapters there to make some serial connectors for it. And I'm gonna build myself a composite video output because this is Uh, it says quill too bad or change medium again. Ah, oh, that's no good. Um, well, I think what I'm going to do is I'll put it in the second one, do a reset. F1. Hang on. Am I pushing the wrong button? Let's do F2, don't I, for TV. That's better. Right, so that loads like that and doesn't do much. So if I then do a DIR MDV2 underscore, I put it in the second drive. So maybe I can list stuff in the second drive. Ah, there is stuff in there. Interesting. Yeah, so it has seen it. I'm not sure I can load stuff off the second one. I really don't know. Uh, Super ba is it super basic? L run. Uh, L run. Something. Right. What is it? L run. Ah. L run. M D V two underscore, and then the name of it. Uh, can it just be Quill? Bad name. Okay, I guess not. Um, DIR MDV2. Should we try one the boot? I don't know why that's going to work. Let's try it anyway. M run. M. Oops. MDV2 underscore boot. Whoa, ah, it's trying to load from uh, MDV1. <laughs> yeah, I've read about this. So um, it's a lot of times where it will just default to MDV1. So if you, I mean, it's crap really. So if you've got a dodgy drive on the left, number one's knackered, and you can't use number two. So that's rubbish. Anyway, so wit MDV2 uh, again. Whoops, DIR MDV2 underscore. No, channel not open. Now, I might have to get, do I want to get destructive? If I do a print hello, and I run that, and it says hello. Now, where, how do I do a save to it? So, I think it's just uh, save MDV oh, God's sake. to on this. I'm not used to this keyboard. If I just see if I can write hello to it. Bloody hell. Okay, DIR. That is noisy. I've got hello in there. Interesting. So that's clear memory. List it, there's nothing in there. Load MDV2 hello. Doing a lot of work. Oh, I managed to load it, so I managed to load and save some data. This is a good day. I've got a working. Tell you what, I'm going to reset the thing. Right, do a DIR, MDV2 underscore. It's got to get round again, flipping heck. Yeah, hello's not on there. Oh, you bugger. Ha. So where did it save it to? It didn't save it to anywhere. Print hello2. Save 
MDV2 LO2. Maybe I should wait for it to finish doing its thing. I didn't wait for it to stop, so maybe that was my mistake. Yeah, it doesn't like it, does it? So that that is a dodgy drive, dodgy tape. Cartridge. What the hell is it? Um, so I'll try a format. Oh, I mean, if a format, it's knackered anyway, isn't it? What's the point? What's the point in worrying? So I'm going to do a so format mdv2 underscore um, test Yeah, format failed. Okay, so maybe that's just knackered. I don't know. Right, next tape. <laughs> this is going to take a while. Okay, so it turns out that every single one of those is failed. <laughs> so uh, those two are red. They just don't do anything. Um, all the rest of them have been tagged with yellow, meaning that they do kind of load. Um, all of those actually return a directory listing, but I can't load or save any simple basic programs. Uh, I can't format them, um, so I'm really at a bit of a loss. I'm not quite sure what the next step is. Um, I, you know, I think my repairs are okay uh, physically. Um, I don't know what to do. I mean, I have cleaned the heads on the um, the microdrive units themselves. Hmm. So, if you've got any advice as to what I should do next, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, it's odd. I mean, I can understand. The ones that are broken, you know, the, the actual mechanism has come out or whatever. That's fine. I'm not going to shove them back in there and, and damage stuff. But um, it's weird that, that I can't even save a, a one line basic program. Um, but I can get a directory listing. And obviously stuff starts to load because I can see the, the boot up sequence on a lot of these applications. What do I do next? Hmm. Advice in the comments would be greatly appreciated. See you next time. Cheers.